Hey guys, welcome to the Pathless Traveled. My name is Ryan. If you're new to the channel, basically what you need to know is that it's all about exploration, documentation, and creation. And today, it's actually the start of Easter weekend, so what better way to spend it than to go check out a new part of New Zealand. So we're headed down to Wanaka and going to check out Mount Aspiring National Park for the very first time. Welcome to Aspiring Hut. So just to give you a quick update on today, we have had a really awesome day actually. Like I said, it's the first time in Aspiring and it's totally gorgeous. So basically we woke up early this morning and made our way to the car park. And then after that, we just started the walk. We met up with Andy and Abby, our mates who live down here in Wanaka. And we started the walk, it was about two to three hours, really easy walk through this amazing valley. You guys saw the footage, it's just incredible. And then we got settled in at the hut where we'll be spending the night, Aspiring Hut. It kind of serves as a hub for people wanting to either go to up Cascade Saddle or to Liverpool Hut or to French Ridge Hut. So originally our plan was to try and tackle French Ridge Hut or Liverpool Hut, but unfortunately there's like a massive rainstorm rolling in tonight and tomorrow morning um, and we didn't want to get stuck up there if it turned really bad. So instead we chose to stay, ugh. so instead we chose to stay at Aspiring Hut. It's fantastic. That's it just behind me over my shoulder here. And we actually just went on a really nice walk up the Cascade Saddle route that would take you up to the pylon, but we didn't have enough time again. And we were running out of sunlight. So we just made it to above the tree line and took in amazing panoramic views of the whole valley. And it was amazing. So check that out. <laughs> guys we're just leaving aspiring hut now as you can see the weather has rolled in last night was one of the craziest thunderstorms I've ever been in the whole valley was just like rumbling with thunder at times it actually felt like there was an earthquake going on and lightning strikes and lighting up the whole hut pretty dramatic and this morning as you can see a little bit of rain it's gonna be a little bit of a wet walkout but hopefully if it lets up we're gonna take you guys up to the Rob Roy Glacier to show you what that little walk is like. So this has turned into more of a day walk strip than a really intense um, overnight backcountry uh, tramping experience. But hey, you gotta roll with the punches and you never know what the weather's gonna do here in New Zealand. So that's just part of the fun. So we're just back at the car park now. We just had a quick bite to eat after our walk from Aspiring Hut. And it was a great walk. The weather cleared up for us beautifully. And now the plan is for us to go back up the track just a little bit, 
go over Swing Bridge and up the valley to go see Rob Roy Glacier. And the walk to Rob Roy is apparently pretty easy. We're gonna show you guys how it is, but it's one of the most popular day walks in Mount Aspiring National Park. How'd you like the walk? It was good. What do you think about how hard it was? It was actually not that bad. It was longer than I thought it was going to be. Yeah. But that's because we took lots of stops to yeah. take lots of photos <laughs> and videos. Photo. Yeah. But it was good. The view was nice. It started randomly raining on us. <laughs> yeah, that was weird. And then it was sunny. It's gorgeous. And yeah, now it's sunny again. again. Yeah. Yeah. But I really liked it. Like it was about three hours round trip, so pretty much exactly what the sign said it was going to be, which usually doesn't happen here. Usually, you can usually beat it by like 30%, so um, about three hours round trip and reasonably steep, not crazy st steep, like on a scale of one to five, five being like really, really steep, it's probably like a two or three, so reasonable. You should be like, kind of fit to do it, but it's not going to like most people would be able to do it. It might take you a bit, but... Wear proper, proper shoes. Yes, do. yeah, definitely. We saw some people like that definitely didn't make it out there wearing like flats and like sandals. So make sure you wear proper footwear. With that said guys, that is it for our aspiring adventure. It was pretty cool. Obviously not exactly what we were hoping for, like heading up to some of the more intense huts, um, but it was still amazing to come down here for the first time and get to see this part of the country a little bit more. If you guys want some more information about any of the huts in the valley or the walks, I'm gonna put links below so you can check those out. If you wanna know how much huts cost, um, things you should bring, all that kind of stuff, I'll put links below, so check that out. And if you like this video, toss me a like below, subscribe if you really liked it, and until next time, don't be afraid to take the path less traveled.